So I've got a, another product review for you guys. This is a product that is not a usual product that I would uh, cover on this channel. Uh, usually I'm doing Lionel, uh, MTH, and K-Line, and um, I'm going to be. This is covering um, RMT's Beef Mini F3 Diesel Set, the AA set. Uh, RMT is may, uh, stands for Ready Made Trains. Um, I think these trains are, are pretty cool. Um, I actually have a, a baby Jeep from RMT in the New Haven scheme. Uh, here's a picture of it. And I got it a couple years ago. It's a good little runner, and um, I'm a big fan of the, the uh, old EMD cab units, and so I've kind of wanted one of these uh, for a little bit. It's not prototypical because it's, it's, they're short and stubby, but I think they're pretty cool looking. So I thought I'd be do, do an unboxing. I found this set on eBay. A gentleman was selling it, and um, it's still shrink-wrapped. Uh, so I thought it'd be fun to do an unboxing. You can see the, uh, I don't know if you can see that, the shrink wrap. You can see the reflection in the light, the plastic of the shrink wrap. So I thought it'd be fun to do an unboxing and a review and running session on my attic layout. So here we go with the unboxing. I'll go ahead and cut the, uh, cut the cellophane, the shrink wrap. cool to be able to have a brand new set of these. So this one unit is powered, one is a dummy. There it is, a little closer look there. I think this might be the powered unit, so we'll go ahead and open it. See in the lid, Pennsylvania Railroad AA set beef powered diesel. So this is the powered unit, and this is the non-powered unit. It's a lot like Lionel's packaging, the clamshell. Oh, that's cute. That's neat. Nice paint scheme. Some good detail. See, and it's only got it's only got the four wheels on the bottom. So obviously just in that regard, this engine is not prototypical. But it's nice. It's got the rubber diaphragm in the back. It's got the cable. This must hook to the dummy unit. It's got the two pickup rollers. Nice. This is the dummy unit. And held on by tape. So the wheels, it's got the pickups, but the wheels are free rolling. And it's got the wire to connect in between. Nice little engines. So we'll go ahead and set it up on the track and um, talk about it more in detail. So I got to look this set over, uh, this AA set, and I'm really, imp I'm actually pretty impressed with the level of detail of this engine. Um, these are, you know, again, these are not prototypical, so you would think the detail would only be um, not all that great, but I'm really surprised with uh, the amount of detail. Starting with the front, you actually have, this engine comes with a lot of separately applied handrails. 
uh, in the front you have the handrails um, by the Keystone logo and then there's in the in the corners of the locomotive there's separately applied handrails um, then you have the number boards and the marker lights uh, inside the cab uh, there's actually two crew figures on either side, which is a nice touch. Uh, the cab door actually opens, uh, which again, I was surprised about. That's a nice, a nice little detail. And then you have the separately applied horns on the roof. And then you have the um, Pensy trademark, the uh, telephone uh, antennas that they put on their engines. Uh, that's again, separately applied. Then um, there's a screen uh, over two of the uh, fan, vent, uh, fan vents on the roof, which is, those are actually metal. And the fans inside actually move. If you blow on them, the little fan blades turn. Again, a nice little touch. Uh, then you have the uh, porthole windows on the sides with the Keystone logo saying, and then it says uh, uh, Pennsylvania. Then in the back, the vestibules are actually rubber and there's a, uh, a little, um, both units um, are connected by a wire. I, I showed that to you guys when I took the engine out for the first time. Um, and you have to line up the little, there's a little plastic tab that clips into the, there's like a locking mechanism. So when you pull the, when you want to separate the two wires, you have to push on the little tab so that it unhooks it and you can pull them apart. That's how the two engines are connected. Both units are uh, detailed exactly the same. So each of the couplers, even the ones in the back, are um, have an uncoupling tab. They open on, on, on both ends, the front and the back, on both units. Um, one, I, I got to spend some time on this engine, just run it around a little bit, and I found that when I run the engine in reverse, the headlight on the dummy unit does not turn on. So I don't know if the bulb just doesn't work or the electronics don't work, um, but the headlight on the powered unit does work. Um, it, it comes on, um, as you'll see in the video. So this engine um, is very basic. It doesn't have any sound. It doesn't have any smoke. All it has is a headlight. But uh, Running it, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the, uh, it runs pretty smooth and it's quiet. Uh, and the uh, E unit, when you cycle through the power, you don't really hear any clicking. Uh, the E unit is quiet. Uh, so it's a nice smooth runner. Kind of reminds me of a Williams engine, uh, nice and smooth. Looking underneath, there's two pickup rollers and you've got the uh, four wheels that are kind of like a shiny metal kind of only uh, kind of reminds me of a, of, of uh, wheels that would go in a Menards uh, car. We'll go ahead and run this around my attic layout and I will also bring out my baby Jeep and run that on the other track uh, in this video so you can see both of them since that engine I didn't do a review video on. So uh, hope you enjoy the uh, running session.